everybody, it's Jenna Allen and welcome back to Mental Health Today. So today, I am super excited about this topic because this is something I'm so, so passionate about um, and I'm super excited to teach you guys about it because I really, truly, truly do feel as though this is something that really can determine your lifestyle. Um, and that's mindset. Uh, your mindset really is super, super important. And your mindset is is kind of like, I mean, it depends like what you believe in, right? Like if you're like, I am a believer in spirituality and, and Christianity and stuff, but like, I'm a big believer in law of attraction and create like that your thoughts can become an action and then that, beca that becomes like a lifestyle. So when you have a negative mindset, you're going to have negative thoughts. And then you're going to have negative feelings, which are, which are then going to turn into negative behaviors and, and negative energies that then turn into negative um, consequences and, and lifestyle and, and stuff happens, right? So I think that, you know... Every mindset is different, but I for personally believe, and, and from personal experience, like, I used to have a very negative mindset, and I was, I was attracting very negative people, negative friendships, negative relationships, and I started to realize that, okay, like, obviously they, they, you know, it wasn't, like, you know, they obviously had, they weren't the healthiest for me, but I realized that I played a part in it, and that was by attracting, and not intentionally, but I didn't realize it until I kept learning a little, like, more than once, and I was like, hey, you know what, it's time to change my mindset, I gotta change my mindset, I need to, I want to attract better things in my life, and that was when I realized, okay, like, I can't keep going down this path, and so I did, I changed my mindset, and now I have way better things happening like so like I am absolutely like honestly thriving right now because I'm doing the work and I'm putting the effort into making those changes and I have made those changes right so I think that it's so important to really take a look at your mindset and like what you what you put into the world right like if you and that's like a big big thing that I really want to teach people is how to change your mindset and some pe everybody learns differently right like some people don't learn this until they're older which is totally fine but like if I can teach people how to like really change their mindset and like have better results in their life I would I would love to do that so if you can take anything away from this video today I, I think it, I just want you to take away like be aware of your mindset have that self-awareness be aware of your thoughts and when you when you have a goal or when you have things that you want in your life and you're having and you're scared like let, let's talk about a fearful mindset right now so if you're scared and you have a vision and you have goals for yourself but you're scared to achieve it it's okay to be scared it's okay to be nervous um but but if you're allowing that to take over your mind, you're not going to get anywhere. You're you're not going to achieve those things because you're allowing that fear to take over your mind, which then is going to contribute to your the, the negative mindset, right? So it's just super, super important to have the awareness of what kind of thoughts are you putting in your head? What kind of thoughts are you creating? What kind of thoughts are you thinking about? You know, because if you if you want to achieve things, you have to do, do the work, right? And so you have to be willing to shut off the negative thoughts and 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 be like willing to get out of your comfort zone and go chase your dreams. And like I have a big fear of stage fright. But I want to get into motivational speaking. 
and travel the world and speak in front of live audiences and I'm going to do it. But I'm scared and I can openly honestly say that but I'm not going to let that fear ruin the opportunities that I'm going to have to make an impact for people. Like at the end of the day my goal and my motivation is so much larger than my fear and and as nerve-wracking as it is when I do get to that point yeah it's nerve-wracking it's scary to to the thought of like actually speaking in front of like thousands of people it's terrifying for me but I'm gonna do it because my goal and my passion is so much larger and it's worth it and that's kind of like what I want to get at with you guys today is that like at the end of the day your goals and your dreams you can make it a reality but you got to change your mindset and you got to be willing to change your mindset and and be open-minded and be like hey you know what if i want this i gotta work for it right so that's so so important and i just really really want to get that message out because it's so important i've done it i've changed my mindset and even though it's been a process it's been good it's been scary it's been it's been a lot it's so worth it like it is absolutely worth it because the opportunities that I'm getting now in my life all because I changed my mindset and because I've put in the effort it's amazing and so like it's just when you when you can like get to that self-awareness to being like understanding that your mindset really can hold you back if you don't take control of it um and just be having that self-awareness like if like I said if if anybody can take anything away from this video today is spend even an hour to yourself today and sit there and reflect about your thoughts, your mindset, what you can change about it. If you have a mindset that's holding you back, change it. Because I'm telling you, the results, the opportunities, it is worth the work and it is work it is worth it is worth the dedication and it is worth over overcoming your fears like it really is so that's all I have for you guys today but stay tuned because I am going to be my next video I'll be talking about how people compare themselves to other people that's going to be a really good uh, YouTube video so stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time on mental health today bye